ain't know my likes. I ain't know my mic is live. Not here.
Ladies and gentlemen, coming to you live from the Lucky Dog Studio in a hidden location somewhere in the upper Midwest of the United States of America, it's a brother making his own way but with all the wrong opinions. Welcome to the Morning Night Live with your host, the one and only P Dog Knight. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Morning Night Live. I'm your host, Marty, also known as P-Dog Night on the internet. Welcome back to the P-Dog Night channel, where sometimes I forget to turn the volume up. That's okay. I figure it out eventually, and... Oh, Lord. I see bridges in the <laughs> chat being used. In... Like a bridge over troubled waters. Um, yeah, we'll talk about that. Um, so, anyway, uh, welcome to the Morning Night Live. I'm your host, Marty, also known as P-Dog Night on the internet. And, well, I, it is... When, what is it? Tuesday? Tuesday, the 26th of March, 2024, where, boy, this, uh, I saw this this morning, um, when I got up to go to work and I was like, damn, how does this happen? Well, it seems like some people might have an explanation for this, uh, incident in Baltimore. Um, we got Trump derangement syndrome just up the yin yang and there's a whole bunch of other stuff. So we'll get to as much as we can in the shortened uh, period of time that I have allotted for today. Uh, please share the stream, hit the like button, do all that stuff that we always ask you to do and sponsor the show. Pete, uh, Oh, that's not the place here. Let's try this. I got an idea. Let's do this. At pdognight.live, <laughs> right there, uh, it is in the chat somewhere, I'm sure. In fact, how about if I oh send a super chat here? Let's put that one at the top today, um, because it's birthday week and we have a, a lofty goal between now and April fourth by actual birthday, even though I'm celebrating birthday week this week because I'm not going to be here next week. I'm going to be gone. I'll be here Monday. I might actually do it just a a dedicated birthday show on Monday, but my birthday is April fourth, so I you know I hate when I don't you know don't have i'm not here for my birthday so i'm just celebrating birthday week this week so um i set a lofty goal and we'll see what happens but anyway what was i doing i'm gonna pin that message that's what i was gonna do there now you know where you can do super chats via uh stream labs which is the best place to do them because you can write a lot more stuff for less money and i'll read it um also i thought of doing something you know i because i know people sometimes their articles they want me to read and stuff and, and gun fox already does it he drops a Hamilton every time he you know he gives sends me an article to read should I do that I, I see HB does that does that does that does that sound interesting to you because I'll read stuff that you send me um but I appreciate if you do it in a, in a super chat form uh, and, and if the best place to do that is on 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 um on streamlabs because you can fit you know your URLs in the in your donation so if you want to do that drop and you want you got something you want me to go through or something especially i should actually just do like a crazy news day where it's nothing but stories like that where you guys submit and, and then i'm forced to read some really just crazy crap that i may not want to read but i will if you you know if you're dropping a, if you're dropping a hamilton in the tip jar i should just i should do that i should just do that once a week anyone interested in that in fact, uh, should put a one in the chat if you think that's a good idea, and uh, put a two in the chat if you think it's crap. I don't know. It, would anyone participate in that? I don't know. We'll see. I just I got to find some creative ways um, to 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 uh, you know up the game here. So we might try that. Who knows? I like. But Fridays, of course, is also um, what do you call it? Uh, Q and A day, and this Friday it's going to be an all Q and A day. In fact, maybe we'll do that. We'll do that this Friday. We'll do all Q and A, um, and if you want to drop a crazy story in the chat, um, drop a Hamilton or a big, or at least a big bullet. You don't have to be a Hamilton, but drop a big bullet in with your the craziest stories you've got to come up with, and we'll go through those. How about we do that on Fridays? Anyone like that idea? Okay, uh, one. But even if you thought it was, though it's a good idea, it's a bad idea for what you will get. Oh no, I, I I think it's hilarious some of the stuff that uh, you guys try to get me with. Tyre and Gun Fox are prolific at um, making me lose my brain, but it's okay. Uh, and in fact, it could be weird stories too, because I don't really scour the internet for weird stories. I'm kind of stuck in kind of the news realm. But um, of course, there might be some crazy gross stuff. And no, oh, nothing with um, 
Nothing with unclothed body parts. That's all I ask. Nothing with unclothed body parts. Although they could be saucy stories. You know what I mean? You could, you know, one of those. Oh, yeah, stories. I, I, if I don't mind those, but as long as it doesn't have any unclothed body parts, turn that off. Thank you. Um, it's all good. Anyway, let's say hi to everybody. Get this thing started because I got a lot to get through. So first, the chat on Rumble. Mr. Avocados Dowdy gets the bell. The bell. Oh, my gosh. Why is that so soft? What is the hell going on? Did that? Did this? No, that's right. Did, was that really? That was really, like, dainty soft. What the f what's going on there? Which one is it? Is this one? Turn that up. Let's try that again. That's a little better. Anyway. Oh, because I don't have my volume up. That's what I'm losing my mind. Anyway, and then also, good morning, Phantom Dog, for the greatest name on the internet. Tall person who had to leave, but um, made sure that that, that uh, the uh, it sent out notifications for the show. And then that's me. That's I don't have to say hi to myself. And then over on YouTube, first in the chat, is also Avocados Diablo, who gets the bell. <laughs> And his own theme song. Also, a good morning to um, Somnumble Nation, Kara Soldier, um, mm, Sure You Gospel, um, Aaron Meredith, what's up? Um, <laughs> our friend Tyre Alexander, the gentleman, Mitch. That's enough. <laughs> also, good morning to uh, Attack Alpaca. Um, Justin Wright, welcome back. I know I now I remember your name being here. I you, you don't get here often, but it's good to see you here. Uh, tall person's also on YouTube. Anonymity T two I'll be Bach is here. Uh, good morning, also to um, uh, TC's in the house. Anon one two three one two three. Uh, amazing disgrace is here. And uh, Maddie's in the house. Good morning. And uh, St Lord Stanhope is here. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm doing the wrong. Is it Romper Room that used to do this? I always, I always forget. Is that the show? I think it was Romper Room that you know. I see Danny, and I see Bobby, and I see Melissa. Um, also, good morning to my favorite Canadian Jaeger Pony is in the house. Good to see you, sir. Um, and is that everybody? Is, am I get? Oh, Judafine, what's up? Nice to have you here. Andrew Thorsten's in the house. Lots of people. That's old home week here. How about that? JB, did I already say JB? I think I did. If I didn't, I did now. And uh, that might be all. Oh, Simon Wolfwood and Kessler's in the house. Good to see you, sir. Um, oh my gosh, Gamer Valine, what's up? Oh, you grew up near the Key, key Bridge? Oh boy. How about that? And uh, Resolute Germs in the house. Oh, it is like it is home. Like, look, it is old home week of Gamer Valines here. What's up, my dear? Nice to see you in the chat. It's been a while. Although you were here about a week ago, too. So it's good to have it's good to see Bright Shine Face back on the on the on the thingy there. Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of people here. We're we're uh special can acids here, unacceptable views is here. Um, and Ken Lee, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, let's get into the show. Um, I don't have, you know, usually I thought Tall Person would provide me with a special day. By the way, thank you to the people sharing the show, especially, too, at least on on, on the app formerly known as Twitter, uh, a.k.a. TC, uh, Maddie, um, Sure You Gospel, uh, Somnable Nation, Scribe Light. Is Scribe here? I don't know. Um, and uh, who else? Da -da 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 -da. All of, well, yeah, all those people. That's that's like nine people. And Judafine, thank you. And uh, and uh, I think that's everybody. All right, thanks. I appreciate it. That it help, every little bit helps. All right. Uh, and Willie's in the house. What's up? How you doing, Willie? I waved. It says waved. I waved. How about how about how about, how about that? And uh, TC over on Rumble. All right, that's everybody. That's that's everybody for now. I'll try to catch up if I see any more names pop up in the screen now. Um, before I get into the that, um, I'm going to let's see. We got a couple things. Oh, what happened to it though? What happened to? Did I move it the wrong place? I think I did. Oh, I see what I did here. This should be that. There you go. First, before we get into the show, I, I don't have the special day. If someone wants to drop a special day down in the chat, I'll I'll mention it. But today is. Um, a very significant person's birthday, Miss Diana Ross. Diana Ross of Diana Ross and Supremes. It is her birthday today. 
It's her 80th birthday. I haven't, you know, look, I haven't seen much. Uh, Wiggles appendage. What the hell does that mean? Um, I haven't seen much of Diana Ross lately. I don't know. I mean, I know she's still alive. Isn't she? Is she but I don't know. I haven't seen much of her lady, but lately, but um, famous lead singer of the Supremes had a wonderful solo career. Um, had did uh, the Wiz and Lady Sings the Blues did some uh, in some acting jobs. And uh, Lady Di is eighty years old today. Good morning and happy birthday to Diana Ross. She was born today on nineteen forty four, the second of six children to a working class family in Detroit. She's the only woman who's earned two lifetime Grammy awards, one for the Supremes. And one as a solo artist. So good morning, Green Badger Outdoors, by the way. Um, so anyway, and those ain't real dudes in the house. Uh, yeah, so um, happy birthday, Diana Ross. Uh, just a, a, it, I mean, if you're not familiar, because uh, you're too young, um, go look it up. She's, uh, she's very famous and uh, one of the pioneers in the music industry as far as like in the Motown era. And uh, just uh, never liked Diana Ross. What, what, <laughs> wait. Never liked Diana Ross. Head kid has the ass of power. I don't know what that means. Oh, the kid has the ass of power. I don't know what that means. But anyway, that's, you know, and, and you know, it's, it's funny. I was never a fan of Diana Ross either, but she is music royalty. So you got to say shout out to Diana Ross. In fact, uh, she was kind of instrumental in, in, uh, in, uh, in the career of the Jackson Five, too, she kind of—I don't know if she discovered them necessarily, but she certainly um, played a role in their success too, which uh, brought to you, which then again, obviously, brought you Michael Jackson and Jermaine Jackson and all those people. So anyway, all right, now, um, and that's the only. Thing. Oh, wait a minute! Ah, here we go! Avocados Diablo putting a small bullet in the tip jar, and Avocados Diablo, you are you are the, the new, new Street Lab Superstar, Superstar sponsor, sponsor of, of the day. day. Thank you, sir. I'm uh, dropping a small bullet in the tip jar saying today is National Spinach Day. Fitting because you know Popeye the Sailor and all. Um, probably would have saved that vote. Uh, plus National Epilepsy Day. Also fitting because you know maybe the captain had a seizure. Oh my God. <laughs> Too soon. Too soon. Um, yeah, uh, Epicus Daddy. Thank you very much. You are the superstar sponsor of the day so far. If you want to be the superstar sponsor of the day, all you got to do is be the biggest bo donor of the day. I almost said biggest boner of the day. <laughs> uh, donor with a D. Oh, yeah. Okay, enough of that shit. Anyway, spinach is nasty. No, no. Spinach cooked spinach is nasty. Um, but like spinach salad with a little bacon, warm bacon dressing. Oh, a little bit of a little uh, crumbled hard boiled eggs some bacon, some, um, sun dried tomatoes. Oh, my mouth's watering. I need to take a sip of my reparations coffee in the John Wayne cup today. It's Duke day. All right. Yes. Do you know where you're going to? Do you like the things that life is? Is showing you that's a Diana Ross lyric. All right, moving on. Let's talk about the bridge though, because this is, I um I was just dumbfounded this morning when I opened X before I went to work, because I was trying to find things to talk about today, and uh, the the crash of this cargo ship into the bridge. Now um there's there's some things that are gonna have to be dispelled. Um, very quickly when we talk about this, because um, some of the tr some of the trending topics today regarding this, or just some of the comments that people make because they didn't really pay attention to what actually happened. It, it, it's always a good idea to wait to find out um, what happened because some people are already talking about, oh, this is an infrastructure issue. No, 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 no. A boat, a giant ship, crashed into a pillar of a very long bridge, tumbling it into the water, um, and it, it was—it's was just an awful event. Um, this video from Raw Alerts of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore collapsing is crazy. A cargo ship apparently lost power and slammed into one of the support beams. See, these ships are gigantic and have a lot of momentum, and it lost power on one side. And the bridge ended up turning. And and so um, it, it, 
there may be an element of this could have been saved but human error but it, it, but it's not it, hitting a bridge is unusual but uh, for a ship to lose power I'm, as i'm learning they don't necessarily um Oh yeah, thank you, Gamer Valine. They had just had power a power press brief on it like forty five minutes ago, the, and the Port Authority live cam show the power loss on the ship. Yeah, you could see it. You could see it happening real quick. Thank you, Avocado Stabby. Another another small bullet in the tip jar. Um, and Ad says, "I will take the biggest boner of the day as a compliment." Also, never too soon. And spinach is fucking delicious. Okay, so there's a spinach lover there. Oops, I don't want to do that. And the big boner one. Too much information. Okay. Uh, thank you for sponsoring the show again. So, um, let's see. And luckily it happened at 1.24 a.m. Oh, my gosh. Could you imagine? That's a, that's a, that's a pretty damn busy thoroughfare um, in Baltimore, especially during the day. Apparently, there are about 20 people missing. Here, let's go to the story on it first. Let's do this. Um so here's here's some of the details. Ship lost propulsion before it smashed into Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge, and there are 20 people missing still. Um, there, you know, I was watching as I'm watching that video, <laughs> as the ships, you know, you can see it lose control once, and then you lose control, like, control again and turn into the bridge. And as you're watching some of these videos, you can see car or trucks and cars going across this bridge while this is about to happen. And you're just thinking, oh my gosh, how many people were on that bridge at the time? So the container ship that smashed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore and destroyed it uh, early Tuesday morning reportedly lost propulsion and tried to warn officials that it was going to crash, according to a report. At least 20 people in seven vehicles are believed to be missing. That is just... <sighs> I don't know. I want to say it's a miracle that there were only 20, you know, people in, in vehicles on that bridge at the time. But thankfully, it, it, like someone just said, it was at least it was at 1 30 in the morning and not like, you know, three in the afternoon or, you know, when there's the bridge is like just full of cars going back and forth. Holy smokes. Could that would I mean, it, it's bad enough as it is. Um, horrifying footage shows a bridge crumbling. After the Dali, a Singapore flagged vessel heading to Sri Lanka, has crashed into the central part of the structure at around 1.40 a.m. The tragedy was declared a mass casualty event, and numerous vehicles, including a tractor trailer rig, were seen plunging into the frigid Patapsco River. Uh, that's the river in Baltimore. As the steel arches and roadway tumbled into the water. Um, the ship also caught fire, sending thick black smoke billowing across the busy harbor. Two people were pulled from the river by rescuers. One did not need medical attention, but one was in critical condition. And uh, so there are videos of this, and I, I, I know I have one up here already, but this one will show you when these power losses happened. Um, so as they're, they're, as they're looking at this, let me put some full screen real quick. So here's right here's the ship as it's heading... It's heading to this opening where the ship would normally fit through just fine. And it show, the, they show you where the uh, a power loss happened a couple different times. The bridge clearance is 185 feet. Trying to turn the engines caused the ship to rotate. It, it, turn Oh, trying to turn on the engines. Ah, I see. Um, so it, you see the first power loss where it, you see it slowed down. And then also, like, even the lights of the ship came out. Now, that's weird because aren't these giant diesel powered ships i'm pretty sure um but it, they lost power there and so now look as he's trying to correct he recovered for a moment and right at the oh now now that's interesting did it blow an engine one of its because they have multiple engines on these things did it blow an engine as it was trying to restart because you see this thick smoke here Sure, they lost part. No, that's what they're that's what they're saying. Anyway, the Patapsco current is no joke. Then they had a tide coming in. Ah, that's brutal. Um, so here we go. And then the second power loss, it's still turning right at the now. Now, see, you see trucks, that truck going across. That truck made it across. Um, but as you're looking at this, 
I mean, there, there's also vehicles. Look at the vehicles up here. These, <laughs> do you see the flashing lights on these vehicles? There, it must have been someone like a tow truck up there or something. Um, but as this, and it goes right into it. There's goes some more cars across that just made it, and the the correction is too late. So they go right into the beam. Took down the whole bridge at once. So all of those people that were up here uh, probably are, unfortunately. Not, not doing they're gone um and so that whole i mean what's it's just wild how the whole bridge collapsed though okay so just just before this happens this is where it is and it, it that one support takes out this section of the bridge this entire long section of the bridge and lifts the other section of the bridge and forces it to cr crash on the other side so it's a uh, holy shit that is just wild. So the container ship lost propulsion as it was leaving port and crew members warned officials of a possible collision, according to a report from the Department of Homeland Security, Cybersecurity, Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency. Holy shit, that's a long fucking agency name. The Department of Homeland Security, Cybersecurity, Infrastructure Security Agency. <laughs> that's a that's a lot of verbiage right there um according to uh, according to some abc news, video shows power on the ship flickering off and on and then on again shortly before the crash um and then uh let's see the vessel notified maryland department of transportation that they had lost control of the vessel and a collision uh, and a lesion collision in the water i didn't know that i did you know okay how many people you already knew that a collision on the water is known as an allusion. I've never heard that term before. Uh, with the bridge as possible, the vessel struck the bridge, causing complete collapse, as we saw in the... And then the, you just see photos from various stages of this tragedy, including what it looks like now, this morning. And apparently, there's a 17-slide slide slideshow here. I'm not going to do that. Two pilots aboard the ship, as well as 22... Indian crew members have account, have been accounted for, and there are no reports of any injuries, said Singapore-based Synergy Main Marine Group, the company operating the vessel. The company said it is investigating the cause of the disaster and cooperating with authorities. This is an unthinkable tragedy, Baltimore um, Mayor Brandon Scott said from the scene soon after the state of emergency had been declared. Kimberly Claysek, she's running for Congress in um, Baltimore as a, as a Republican. She's a, I, I've met Kimberly. She's a very nice lady. Um, and then just photo from the tragedy, the Francis Scott Key Bridge, double-checked actual photo of the cargo ship. Um, never would you think that you could see, physically see, the Key Bridge tumble down like that. It looked like something out of an actual... It did look like something you'd see in a movie. Holy shit. Um, Gamer Lee, thank you. The, I'm looking down here. The middle span was the third longest in the world on, on a truss style, that metal stuff atop of the bridge. Wow, that's wild. And I, you know, gosh, I just think of, <laughs> I just think of all of the, you know, we've, my wife, I travel a lot by car. And so we've driven across a lot of very long bridge, bridges, Golden Gate, Oakland Bay Bridge, um, Mackinac Island, Mackinac, uh, the Mackinac Bridge uh, in near, up near uh, Mackinac City, Michigan, um, and I, I just can't imagine, you know, I thought about this when um, we, when the, bridge in minneapolis collapsed um of just the cr just the crazy thought you're going in your head you're just driving along and everything just drops from underneath you um it's it's just a frightening thought so anyway there's more pictures and uh information in this a a article but what i wanted to do was just so show you some of the it, this is pretty much the biggest trending topic on the internet right now. And so some of the things that are trending, uh, the key bridge or Francis Scott key bridge, you're not, not any, any, any new information. Um, but there's a lot of people who like live in the Baltimore area that, um, are, are talking about this, uh, that I, that I, you know, some people I know that live in Baltimore and like the game of lead new has been there. Um, but also, okay. That's just, again, the video of the actual, um, thing happening infrastructure is trending um only because <laughs> some people are 
wondering if this was a, a cyber attack. Andrew Tate mentions that. Um, but people talking about infrastructure, this, and a lot of people were talking about, well, you know, this is might be an infrastructure and, and are already, um, you know, like blaming Pete Buttigieg or something like that. And that's misguided right now. That this has nothing to do with infrastructure other than it destroyed some major infrastructure. It doesn't have anything to do with Pete Buttigieg. He, you know, there's nothing he did that uh, caused this to happen. But he is trending right now. Baltimore, Maryland is trending, obviously, because it happened in Baltimore. Um, and, and again, someone here, the Baltimore, Maryland bridge collapsed this morning. This looks pretty deliberate to me. Rammed straight into one of the supports. Nope, I don't think so. Obviously, they were having an issue, as you saw the power shut down um, on, on the bridge. Uh, ship obviously is trending uh, Pat Patapsco River because that's uh, the river it happened. And I, I had a – somewhere along here, someone had a picture an, uh, from the top view of how wide this spans is. I mean, this is a really, really long bridge. Um, it looks like people are just showing the uh, actual tragedy. There's a picture at, at, at uh, daybreak. Um, th here, this is a good one to show. So this is showing it from the top as of this Oh, I suppose you want to see that, don't you? <laughs> let, me, let me put that on the screen, silly me. Um, here, I'll start it over. Just kind of show, here you go. So this is a view from, from, from the sky. This morning at daybreak. I mean, this, this is a very, very wide bridge. It, it, especially K, okay, it shouldn't have turned. Well, ideally it wouldn't have turned, but it was, it wasn't a, this is not even a, a user error. It didn't turn on into the bridge on purpose. It lost power on one side. And apparently when they restarted, you saw this plume of smoke. I wonder if they blew an engine on one side, which caused it to turn even more. That's what, my, that's what I, it seemed to, it, it seemed to that big giant black smoke that happened. Um, maybe it. good morning, patio furniture, by the way. And I said, did that, those ain't real dude, didn't I? Yes, I did. So anyway, um, God, this is, this, it's just, this is just crazy. Um, also trending because of this Singapore, uh, this ship was out of Singapore or a Singapore vessel. And, um, you know, obviously this lends itself to many theories. I won't even say Conspiracy theories. I'm, people are just trying to guess what happened. So people are saying, "Oh, this this could have been a, a, a terrorist attack, an attack on infrastructure attack. Um, it could be, you know, a, a computer attack." I, nobody knows at this point why the ship lost power. It's not. I, I, and I was one of the people that was replying to me from this morning, who spent 14 years on a cargo ship, said that ships occasionally will lose power, but never in a situation like this like sometimes i'll see they'll lose power in one engine and and then they had it re, you know repaired that's why they have crews to do this kind of stuff um it's just uh you know so it, it i think this is just a tragic accident um but we'll learn more that the nstb or national transportation safety board ntsb is also trending they're investigating this baltimore is trending obviously um Pete Buttigieg, um, a lot of people are already <laughs> in his, uh, you know, I would say unfairly raking Pete Buttigieg over the coals for this. And it's not, I, I as much as I despise <laughs> this administration, this ain't it. So this is, don't worry, folks, transportation, transportation secretary Pete Buttigieg is focused on solving racist bridges, roads, and highways and tunnels. Yes, that's probably true. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm saving this clip. Kaylee McEnany uh, announces that Pete Buttigieg was in contact with officials on the ground in Baltimore at the site of the catastrophic bridge collapse. Buttigieg 
was on the job. Okay, good for him. That's and that's fine. That's his job to you know he's the transportation secretary and uh, the NTSB and other agencies that will be investigating Jen, this. On the federal response um, and what's playing out at the that's moment. That's what he's supposed Carrie, to do. do you know? So I don't. Well, that's something good. Something like this requires massive law enforcement coordination. You have the FBI, you have the Coast Guard, you have the police, you have the transportation department, and so lots of moving parts, lots of moving pieces. And I was thinking about if this had happened when I was at the Department of Justice and Kaylee. I heard what you said about waking. up the president would have been the same on my end, waking up the attorney general. And what he would have done would be a couple of things. First, he'd call the FBI director and mm -hmm. ask, what do you know? Because, and one of the first questions he'd ask, is there any suspicion of terrorist activity, which we've heard thus far doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, two, foul play. What do we think's going on? Then he would have called the president to brief him. At that point, he, the chief, and I would get on a call, put together a statement to assure the public that the attorney general is monitoring the situation and we're working closely with our local law enforcement partners. But something like this requires, like I said, massive coordination. But you can see, this is just this section. If you look I, where my cursor is here, the beginning of the bridge is over here. This is the, this is not even the halfway point of this bridge. This bridge uh, expands an equal amount or more than the, because the lot, this is the, the longest span to the bridge is to the left of this pillar. And then you have the rest of the bridge way over there. So this is a massive bridge. This is going to be a massive project to, to even repla replace what it has. It could take, it could take several years as long as construction takes these days. So um, let me let her finish here. Yeah. yeah, it seems like the Department of Transportation was on it pretty early. Pete Buttigieg in contact with the mayor. We heard the mayor uh, talk about his correspondence with the federal government saying that they were on it. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. And this is a this is an anti Fox News channel or <laughs> person. So um, and I don't know why you know, I'm saving this clip. <laughs> OK, so he, if he's on it, good. He's doing his job. That's all I can say. But um <sighs> Some people, though, um, are ripping on Pete Buttigieg. I had no idea Secretary Pete Buttigieg's job is to drive every car we could ship on every bridge in America. That's uh, people complained about that. So it's not. It's it's not. It has Ken. nothing to do with Pete. Sorry. All right. Um, also training because of an infrastructure. Again, this is not an infrastructure thing. Although it is now. It's definitely an infrastructure thing now. Um. And then Star Spangled Banner's training because it's the Francis Scott Key Bridge and Francis Scott Key wrote the Star Spangled Banner. So the very racist Star Spangled Banner. I'm joking. I don't think it's that. Um, and then finally training because of this Leave the World Behind. Now, if you're not familiar with Leave the World Behind, I wasn't either until today. Apparently, Leave the World Behind is a movie about... Um, an oil tanker that runs aground on the coast of Long Island in an area full of beachgoers. And it was um, Barack and Michelle Obama are credited as executive producers for Leave the World Behind. And it's a it's it's, it's a it's, it's a boat disaster movie, which, um, holy shit, uh, they'll probably make a boat disaster movie about this one, too. Warren Willis, how you doing? Good to see you are not committing copyright infringement. LOL. I don't know what you're saying there. Um, <laughs> I'm doing commentary, and uh, if they, <laughs> Fox News understands that some people do commentary on their, um, on what they do. So there you go. Uh, thank you, though, Warren Willis, and welcome to the show. By the way, uh, if, I hope you're new here. I hope you hang around and uh, see how many wrong opinions I have. So there you go. Um, and then, so that was the last thing uh, trending because of. Um, because of this boat crash, I'm sure you're going to be hearing a hell of a lot of, um, a hell of a lot more news about this over the coming weeks, um, and I'm sure that uh, it's it's very likely. Uh, this is one that I'm pretty sure President Biden will visit, unlike that town in Ohio, <laughs> that which that town was trending to. I look, I don't, I I can't. The, this is a time where I say you can't blame anyone in this administration. I, and I don't like them, but I'm not. That's just silly to do. Um, I've seen people starting to do that this morning uh, who have similar views as I do. But I it's it's that's just wrong headed. And so don't don't make a fool of yourself doing that. That's all I say. And just let let's 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 
let's find out what happened first. Um, if there was some kind of a, a cyber attack on their software in the room, in the whatchamacallit room, we'll find out eventually. But right now, it's just a tragic accident uh, where a ship lost power and veered on its course. So, all right, let's move on. Uh, also trending this morning, a gentleman named Jonathan Diller uh, is trending. And I, I haven't even heard of this case. Apparently, apparently um, New York Police Department officer Jonathan Diller was killed after being shot in the stomach during a traffic stop by a 34-year-old Guy Rivera. The assailant had 21 prior arrests. The 31-year-old officer was married and had a one-year-old child. And so apparently people are rallying around this case. Um, and look... Uh, that is also not good. And especially someone who's had 21 prior arrests. And I'm curious what those arrests would be, but I don't know any more information about it. Um, for the worst part of it is whether he had one or 21 arrests, he shot a police officer during a traffic stop. And that is fucked up. Okay. Um, now, if he's out on some things that where he's done violent crimes before and hasn't gone to trial or got out on, you know, no bail in New York or what, I'm curious what the arrests are for. You know, could they be arrested for shoplifting and loitering for all I know? But if that's violent crimes and that this they've they've let him go too many times, I'm just I, I always wonder why. But until I, I guess I just need more detail about this jag off that shot a police officer. OK, so um, that is trending. Also trending is Crocus, uh, the Crocus uh, tr terror attack in Moscow. Um, now, apparently now we, there's some update on this. Uh Apparently, the secretary of the Security Council, uh, someone named Petrushev, has stated that Ukraine is behind the terrorist attack at Crocus. Now, someone yesterday was saying ISIS, and and now they're saying this says the guy says for sure it was Ukraine. Um, I guess we'll find out. Uh, but also here, breaking U.S. U.S. the U.S.A. Britain and the Ukraine are behind the terrorist attack at Crocus Hill City Hall. Um, FSB, that's their, basically their FBI, Director Alexander Vortenkov says. You know, <clears throat> we were speculating on this. I was speculating on this yesterday because I was just it was just weird to me why ISIS would attack Moscow. And also we had a warning not that long ago. Was it last week? They had a warning for people... U.S. citizens in Russia to stay away from large, crowded places, malls and train stations or whatever. <sighs> I, I I don't want to I I don't want to believe that our CIA would do something like this in Russia during a time we're doing a proxy war against you know funding Ukraine and all that. But I just go. It's possible. <laughs> I don't know. Someone named Nick Griffin says they can't say who was behind the assassination of their own president 63 years ago. They can't say who was responsible for blowing up Nord Stream, the biggest economic terror attack ever. But the CIA knew for certain that the Crocus massacre was done by ISIS with absolutely no link to Ukraine even before the fire was put out. Does pretending to believe what makes Western politicians and media outlets look terminally naive, incurably stupid, and utterly corrupt? And that's all I'm going to say about that. It's trending though, and they seem to think they know they know who's behind it, and and it doesn't it doesn't rhyme with ISIS. <laughs> all right, thank you, Gamer Valine in the house, dropping a big bullet in the tip jar. Thank you very much. What the hell happened there? Um, who says Key, aka Alec, uh. Francis Scott Key, Alexander. Francis Scott Key penned the Star Spangled Banner, Banner from a ship that was bombing Fort McHenry, anchored roughly where that bridge was. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is right near where it was, isn't it? Yeah, uh, wasn't he a prisoner on a ship and he was riding that and, uh, and uh, basically riding what he saw? And uh, yeah, so anyway... Well, that's that's a cool piece of trivia. Thank you, Gamer Vlee. Appreciate it. 
all right, let's uh, let's keep going here on the. Uh, oh, <laughs> you know who else is trending? Um, Diddy is trending now. I am not caught up on this story. So, and I heard I was listening to a Steel Toe Morning Show podcast this morning. And they talked about it a little bit, but I wasn't paying attention because I was working. But anyway, um, people are saying, so it's quite ironic that Diddy had minors sign non-disclosure agreements, not enforceable. It's against public policy and minors' contract, if that's what you want to call it, at their own will and can break contracts at any time before ratification of emergency. So um, <laughs> this is so apparently... Diddy, which I'm sure his name's going to be changed to Diddler, um, apparently had similar proclivities as Jeffrey Epstein and had parties and shit. And so here is, um, this is part of the case. Underage, sign, underage girls signed NDAs prior to entering his parties and prior to being drugged and sex trafficked to traffic these parties. Among the specific acts were Combs' use of vast sums of cash, drugs, fake promises of career opportunities, and access to music industry executives in circumstances that should have prompted defendants Lucian Charles Grange, Ethiopia Habitarium, Motown Records, Love Records, and Universal Music Group employees to specifically raise questions about Combs' sex trafficking. Um, so anyway, it, the, the allegation is he had just... Sex trafficking parties. Good morning, Carousel. Oh, Carousel. I know Carousel. You've been here. Nomads in the house. That's who's here. Stop. Hammer time. Um. So I, I, like I said, I, I'm not up on this story. All I know is that the uh, Department of Homeland Security raided his home this morning. And is he? Does anyone know? Is he in custody? I haven't. No one knows where he is. Apparently, they did. Someone's been tracking his plane, and it was headed towards somewhere in the um, <laughs> the southern hemisphere. <laughs> no, actually, it was tracked like it was flying over Florida, and then it was going down to some islands, probably somewhere where he has cash stashed away. Gillo Asmati, by the way, did they kill him? I no, I don't know. <laughs> but you know, now that you think about it, here's a clip of P Diddy, who uh, was uh, um, <laughs> and, and Justin Bieber. And let's see, what what are we doing? We can't really disclose for the next 40 hours. He with me, we gonna be buckful creep. Now, now, this is Justin Bieber when he was 15, maybe. And Justin Bieber has made some um I wouldn't say necessarily aspersions, but hint at some of the shit that was done to him when he was a kid. Well, let's what's this let's see what this says. Justin, he's in you ever seen the movie 48 hours? Right now, he's having 48 hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, yeah. They're having the times of their lives, like, like, yeah. like, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Don't want to um, know. We, we can't really disclose. You're 40 years old. But, um, he's 15. It's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. Oh, my um, God. You know, I, I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed the Usher. I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his Yeah, that's a little too much information, album. too, Diddy. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship I... of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me, so. Um... Too much. Okay, so anyway, also Prince Harry, I guess, was named as one of the famous figures at Diddy's sex trafficking parties. That's wild. Dave Chappelle tried to tell us about Diddy being a psycho freak like 20 years ago. Um, part of the video... This part of the video is most interesting. Four months ago, she said Diddy would be in trouble in March around Easter, but she also talked about how they harvest energy and people or artists pass away. She didn't recognize the rapper coming to mind, but look whose name keeps popping up. So anyway, oh, <laughs> we might... <laughs> We might see this picture show up a few more times over the next few months. Diddy officially endorses Joe Biden, launches his own political party. That was in 2020, but oh, good Lord. Um, letter to Sean Diddy Combs. Do the country a big one. If this shit is true, don't go down alone. Give us the names of every single pedo in Hollywood now. Well, I'm sure he had some, he had some connections with Mr. Epstein, too. So, and then there's a 
some speculation that Diddy might be flying away for good. 50 been telling you all about Diddy for 25 years. Oh, what did, let's see what 50, 50 said. F not 50, I'm sorry. Did I say 50? I meant 50. What did 50 say? That's, is that, that's not 50, is it? Um, that's, that doesn't even look like 50. Said. Nigga Puff was like, yeah, like first he was amping him to, to get style. Then he was like, yo, he was like, yo, so yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like we could just hang out, nigga. We gotta, we gotta Hold kick that. it. This is Puff. Okay. He telling me we gotta kick it and shit. And he was like, yo, why don't we like go shopping or some shit? I mean, like I pay for it. And I was like, what the fuck this nigga just say? <laughs> <laughs> I got the fuck away from him because I was like, this, this nigga, like, fuck it. Wait, this nigga just tell me he take me shopping. Let's go shopping. <laughs> oh my god, let's stop. I, you know, it's funny. I'm scrolling through this and nobody actually is telling the story of what's happening here we go that's well this is again breaking prince harry's name appears in one of a number of civil lawsuits involving sean diddy combs the rapper facing accusations of sex trafficking um usher revealed that when he was 13 years old he was sent to live with diddy at what he referred to as the puffy flavor camp and describes how he's exposed to sexual acts when he was 13 years old and living with diddy so this is uh, uh. Um, so anyway, uh, there, here, there we go. No, here it is. New York post, New York post. Um, Prince Harry named in bombshell $30 million sex trafficking, trafficking lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs. Why is there just a loss? Is, is this a, is this a, Civil lawsuit, or if they are they gonna arrest this motherfucker? I guess they did go raid him. Hello, Trippy Liberty. What's up, my brother? Good morning. Um, Prince Harry's name has appeared in court documents against Bad Boy Records founder Sean Diddy Combs, producer Rod Lil Rod <laughs> Jones, filed a thirty million dollar lawsuit against the music mogul Fifty Four last month, citing that he participated in acts such as sexual misconduct, grooming, and sex trafficking. According to the docs, Jones claimed that. The Duke of Sussex, 39, and other A-listers' affiliation added to Diddy's legitimacy. The update comes amid Diddy, Dirty Money members' Miami and Los Angeles mansions being raided. The homes were ambushed by federal agents at Homeland Security on Monday as a possible connection to the sex trafficking investigation. Law enforcement sources told the Post that the feds moved in because they wanted to seize Diddy's phones and computers. They also alleged there would be further raids on houses associated with the mogul in New York and Chicago. As hours later, Diddy was spotted pacing back and forth outside a Miami airport. Noodles Live, what's up? How you doing? Uh, article written in 2022 states that cargo ship and planes could be a big problem in the future. Please check it out. Oh, I'll have to check that out. Thank you, Noodles Live, and welcome to the show. New name, new name of the show, yay! <laughs> Hit that subscribe button now if you haven't already. Okay, uh, the court papers do not suggest that Harry was involved in any wrongdoing or criminal activity in conjunction with Diddy. Well, of course not, because Prince Harry's a good boy. <laughs> The UK Royal is not a defendant, nor has been incriminated. His moniker also only appears once in the documents. The Post has contacted Harry's camp for comment. Okay, they're not going to comment. Um, so anyway, that's uh, that's a story that is developing. Woo! <laughs> oh, I am concerned. Okay, moving on. I got to get to the main story because I'm not getting there fast enough. Oh, and because of that, uh, Jeffrey Epstein is trending. Um, people are saying the feds are going to cover up everything with P. Diddy to protect the elite, same as they did with Epstein. Oh, pff, duh. That's that's a given. Um, oh, shoot. <laughs> Since P. Diddy is being raided right now, let, allow me to play this recent Cat Williams clip. Oh, well, let's see. Is this have some, does Cat Williams have some insight? Let's see what Cat Williams' insight was on this. I came in this business saying I was going to expose. When mm, I talked about yes. Michael Jackson, when I talked mm. about R. Kelly, R. Kelly, they canceled me for these things because why would you talk about another black dude? Race is not where the line is drawn. It's, it's God's side and the other side. Mm. 
Ah. And you don't care nothing about the other side. Say that shit, Period. cat. Period. All of these uh, big dick deviants big. is all. <laughs> <laughs> he accidentally said, <laughs> these other big dick deviants. That's in hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter. If Good. You they, them, it you needs is. to be over. T.D. Jakes, any of them. The, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. Mm. And, 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 and anyone who takes that the wrong way, know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the lie. <laughs> I love how... Uh, Shannon Sharp is just stunned and doesn't know what the fuck to say right now. And after yeah, that, I don't really kind of know where to go. Let me one more time. <laughs> he has no idea what to say. Mm. Mm. Right. We good now? Because the people want to know well, why would he get blackballed? Yeah. Oh, because, I was because, that. because in 30 years I've done. Okay, so anyway, you get it. You can watch the rest of that clip yourself. Moving on. Um, Bad Boys is trending for two reasons. Because one, P. Diddy and Sean. Puff Daddy, P. Diddy, 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 Diddler, Combs, uh, was the uh, founder and owner of Bad Boy Records. But also because, apparently, the movie Bad Boys is returning to the screen. Bad Boys, uh, Ride or Die, <laughs> apparently. I, now, it's, what's, I, what's wild is I really didn't intend to talk about this movie this morning. But I, it was on AMC. I my last I we got rid of cable, but I for some reason I still get AMC through my TV, and um, the uh, Bad Boys was playing this week, and so I saw Bad Boys One and Bad Boys Two, and then I saw this morning that the trailer for Bad Boys Four has been released. Now I never saw Bad Boys Three. I don't know what it was called, but uh, I, now I'm just concerned though, because first of all, Will Smith is one of these people. <laughs> Um, who has some rumors of him taking a little more? Um, hmm, which, how can I how can I put this gently? Dick himself, but um, and and these guys are think about how old these guys are now compared to when they first did Bad Boys. I mean, they were young and all svelte and buff and shit when they made Bad Boys, and now they're just old men. But it'll be interesting to see how this goes. I'm I'm curious how they're going to. Um, are these guys going to be still in the police force after all this time? I guess so. Anyway, Bad Boys 4 is coming out, and that trailer's out there. I put, I leave the link in the chat.